Okay, so here we see, uh, here's our positive test. You can see a very faint line here. We've, we've taken the covers off. There's that cover, and there's that cover. So we've taken the covers off, so you can see what this is. This one actually clotted just a tick. Um, you can see we, we had to pull the clot out of the window. That's why it's important to use an EDTA tube. So everything moves along these paths, picks up the signal indicators, and you can see a very faint line right there. That's a positive test indicator right there where the test window is. And that's a control. That means the test worked properly. This, there is not a line here for the test. That is a control line. And then these are just absorbent pads to keep the, the liquid from pooling. You need to continue to draw it across so that these, uh, these uh, indicator chemicals can fall, uh, flow all the way up the test and hit the, uh, the test window. But this is what it looks like when you tear them apart. This is why it's important to use non-coagulated blood. This one had a little spot of a clot in it. So we actually pulled it out of the window um, so that the that liquid carrier six drops of, of wash solution could actually help move the sample uh, down the strip. But that is what they look like. All right, positive, negative. We're actually gonna recheck this one. Her in-lab test was a recheck, but you can see there is not a faint line here because she is not far along. She's probably about five days early. Probably in another week, this one will actually be positive here. All right, there you go. You can do it at home.